spotted some slots on the side of the road. I'm super stoked about it. Now we're on our way. We decided to go grab the camcorder. So let's go see some slots out in the wild. All right, bring the camera right over here. I'm gonna try and get you guys real close with the sloth and get a good look at their faces. Let's try and not drop the camera and me not fall in the trees. It's now about 20 something feet up in this tree. We're a lot closer to this baby. Look at this. Look at that guy. That is so cool. What is going on, beautiful people? I have fantastic news. The first time I was in Costa Rica, I did not see a sloth. The second time being this trip, we spotted some sloths on the side of the road. I'm super stoked about it. We we're on our way back from the hot springs, and we actually saw some people looking up into a tree. We pull over and we stop, and there were two three-toed sloths. So we're gonna go show you that right now. We're on our way. We decided to go grab the camcorder. So let's go see some sloths out in the wild. What is going on, beautiful people? We are here at the location where the three-toed sloths are at. It's actually a mother and it's baby up in this tree. Now, it seems like they've taken a, an afternoon nap. I've got the mom right here, and then the baby is right over there higher up, but there's so many leaves, it's kind of hard to see. We're gonna try and get you guys a good shot. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna try and get up the tree a little bit and get a closer shot with the camera. We don't want to disturb the sloths. We're not gonna mess with them, but I'm gonna bring the camera a little bit closer because I want you guys to see some wild sloths. Oh, this is so cool. It's literally on the side of the road. Look at this. We are literally on the side of the main road, and then up in those clouds is Arno Volcano. This is insane. All right, let me see if I can get up into the tree, and then you're gonna hand me that camera. over here I'm gonna try and get you guys real close with the sloth and get a good look at their faces because they're so adorable you really got to get a good look at them let's try and not drop the camera and me not follow the trees well. look right there look at that let me zoom in look at that that is a wild sloth right up in that tree Still not a good shot. I'm gonna have to climb up a little bit further. Getting a little bit high right now. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, oh, I got the, the babies right here. All right guys, I need to safely get my footing in and not fall down because now I'm about 20 something feet up in this tree. We're a lot closer to this baby. Look at this. Look at that guy. That is so cool. A wild sloth. That is insane. I don't think I can get any closer. These branches are getting a little thin up here. Look how far down that is. There we go. One more look at this beautiful young sloth right here. Reaching his arm out, maybe he'll look over and we can see his face. Oh, guys, look at this. Now we can see the face. Look how cute that is. Sorry, it's a little shaky. It's a little hard to climb a tree and use a camcorder in the opposite hand. That is insane, my first wild sloth. All the way up in this tree. Oh my God, that is awesome. So what's really interesting about sloths is they actually have a micro ecosystem on their back in their fur. They have algae, they have microbacteria, 
They have little insects living on the fur. They are a walking, living ecosystem. Another interesting thing, oh, let me stop talking. Let me show you that face. Let me show you that cute little face. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the three toes. Look at that. Oh, come on. The lighting's a little off. That is insane. He's just looking around. Look, look at the fur. That is insane. Okay, so like I was saying, sloths are very interesting species. They have such a slow metabolism, it takes a whole week to properly digest leaves. And they can only eat the, the very fresh leaves, the young leaves. They can't eat the older leaves because there's lots of fiber. They need the younger leaves because there's more protein in them. And like I was saying, it takes a while for them to digest their food. So it takes about a week, and they only go to the bathroom once a week. One, because their digestive system is very slow. Two, because once a week, they go down to the very base of the tree, they go to the bathroom, they go poo. If they consistently go poo every couple days, they're gonna give their position away to a jaguar, because a jaguar will find the poo at the base of the tree and figure out that there's a sloth there. Once he figures out that there's a sloth there, that jaguar is more than capable of climbing up a tree and grabbing the sloth and taking it down and making a meal out of it. Sloths do make up the diet of wild jaguars and pumas out here. So these guys have to be very secretive and be very smart of where they go poo, where they lay their spice or meat balls. I'm so stoked. I am under wild sloths in a tree in Costa Rica with a volcano behind me and a smoothie stand right down there. I'm gonna get some, uh, I'm gonna get like a pineapple smoothie after this. All right, I'm gonna try one more time to get a good shot without breaking a branch and falling and breaking my neck. That would be a bad last day of the trip. That's insane, a mother and it's baby. I'm gonna try and get you guys a shot of the mom right here. There she is. The lighting will adjust. And she's just sleeping. Hold on to that branch. Laid back as her child plays among the branches and checks out the area. I really wanna get a good shot of that face. He's peeking around, he's looking. He knows I'm here. Look at that coarse fur, it's real rough. It's not real smooth, like I said. That fur is a living ecosystem. <laughs> and it's basically a natural raincoat. There we go, guys. A baby sloth up in the tree. Baby three-toed sloth. I really don't think I can get any further. Look how thin these branches are right here. If I snap this and I fall, it's not going to be fun. Look at that. That is insane, a wild sloth. Look, he's a little sleepy. Okay. I think it's time to get down from the tree. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Costa Rican two-toed sloths. My first wild sloths. Last day of the trip, we made it. 